so I realized that in a previous video, I said I would tell you where I'm going to school if I finessed the system, but I never told you how I finessed the system. So this video is about how I finessed the system. It's not really too finessed because like I'm still paying a lot for grad school, but like in my mind, I'm saving almost close to 10K. So like this is me finessing for like an unfunded program where I have to pay for everything myself or take out loans. When I found out that my first semester of college was gonna be online, I was like, yo, um, are we reducing the tuition because you're not like a traditionally online program. You've never given classes online for this program, except for when you had to do that like emergency switch to online. And they said no. And then like, yo, you will not believe. My school sent out an email talking about like how tuition's not reduced and like if anything in the future, it's gonna go up because they had to change like and buy all this equipment to be online and all the social distancing stuff. And I was like, why? This is 2020. We're still trying to get over things in 2020. Do not tell me about next year's prices. I don't wanna hear about next year's prices. I want you to fix my issues right now. So when I found out that the tuition's not going down and that classes are like online for my first semester, I started looking into um, traditionally online programs to see if I could take classes there and transfer the credit. And I reached out to this one lady in my department. I don't know her actual position, so I'm just gonna call her my advisor. So I reached out to my advisor and told her my concerns about paying full price for classes being online and how BC is expensive and then it's unfunded. Like they don't give you financial aid. Like you get it through the state, like the government. And you, you know, there's six point something interest rate and no. So we started brainstorming and she said that I should look into schools like ASU and that's like Arizona State University. And in my mind, you know me, if you know me, you know, I've already figured out what school I'm trying to take classes at. And ASU was on my radar because I looked at the classes at ASU and I looked at the tuition price. Okay. BC's class price is like 5k per class. It's more than 5k, but I'm rounding it down to 5k, right? And ASU is under 2k. ASU baby it was seeming beautiful so I asked them how many classes I could take at ASU that they would accept the credits for and they said that they'll only take two classes two classes is pretty much saving me like 10k so I'm gonna take what I can get I started looking into the classes at ASU but the thing is if you want to take classes at a different institution to transfer the credits you need to have that class approved so what I would do is I would look at the classes and then I would find the professor and I would email the professor letting them know that like, hey, like I am a current student at a different school. I'm interested in taking your class, but I want to transfer the credits. And the only way that I can get approval for this is if I have your syllabus and give it to my advisor to review. So like most teachers were really good about it and they sent me their syllabus and it was reviewed. So I have one class right now approved at ASU that I can take it starts August 20th. And then while I was doing this at ASU, I started looking into other institutions too, because I wanted to find electives. Because fun fact, any class I take, it's not gonna count as one of my required courses for my master's. It's gonna count as one of the electives that I need to make up my 30 credits. And I'd rather take a class that I really wanted to learn about for an elective than just take a class that would fulfill another like SOCH class. I wanted to take one that I really cared about. And there's this one class, it's called Adolescent Development. And I emailed this professor. She hasn't gotten back to me. I, I just need your syllabus, ma'am, so that I can send it to my advisor so that I can possibly get into your class so that I don't have to take this other class. I can just take this class. But now that I'm reviewing and thinking on it, I might just take both of them because they're session A and session B classes. Because like, what if my school is not online second semester and they're like, oh, don't take classes at another institution? Nah, I'm not about that. I'm trying to save this money. I'm about to take them both this fall like both of them also my work does do tuition reimbursement so what i'm doing is i applied for that and then i just have to get a b or higher in the class and then submit my report card to them and they'll reimburse me for like how much i can get reimbursed for so i'm doing that which is also another reason why i'm okay with taking some classes at bc online um, also, my classes are very small. One of my classes has three people. Let me switch really quickly because I'm looking at the time and y'all don't watch long videos. If you are thinking about doing this, what I'm doing, transferring credits, the process you should probably try is look for a place, look at their courses, and also look at their electives because you might not be able to get some of these courses as like your core requirements, your liberal arts requirements. It might just be electives. Make sure you love the class because you don't want to take a class you might not like and then do badly in it. So make sure they got classes that you're interested in. Then ask your advisor or whoever in your department that you need to ask if you can take classes at this place. Most likely they're going to ask for the syllabus because I don't think someone's going to be outright saying no to you. It just has to be up to par with the educational system or whatever that they want. So if you send them the syllabus, then they'll review it and they'll tell you yes or no. Also, don't forget to look at the classes. Like I, there were some classes I wanted to take and they weren't 500 and above, so I couldn't take them. 
So make sure it's in the right level for whatever course you're in. Undergrads, mad easy for you guys. You have so many things to choose from. Grad students, yo, that shit's hard. Once you do that and you have like approval, you have to apply to the program. So you'll apply as like a non-degree seeking student or I don't know if undergrads do something different, but I applied as a non-degree seeking student. I applied to UAB and um, ASU. UAB's application fee was $40 and ASU was $70. Um, I got into both of them. I got the admittance in one to two days, but that's what I did. Mm -hmm.